Hello, today I'm going over some birds that I saw in Mayaka State Park in Sarasota County, Florida. It was a very great place for birding. I highly recommend it. Okay, so first, this is a, you can tell this is a great egret. You have the white feathers, the yellow beak, and the black legs. Then this is right here, you can with the yellow underside, the stripe above the eye, is a palm warbler. And this is another great egret. Then this this looks like similar to a great egret, but you can see right there with the yellow on the feet, the black legs, this is a snowy egret. And right here you can see this is an anhinga by the white wing patterns on the navy black back with the red eye and long spear-like bill to catch fish. And right here, this is a little blue heron. You can tell by the, it's a small, relatively small heron. The bluish back with the light blue beak. This is another little blue heron here. You can see more of that reddish kind of brown color on the neck. Then this is another anhinga while it was calling with the throat, with the pouch on its throat. And right here, you can tell with the long down curved bill, the kind of iridescent greens, reds, and browns. This is a glossy ibis. This is another great blue heron here. You can tell by the long feathers on its head, the long orange beak, and large blue-gray bird. It's very interesting. And right here, there's many alligators. This is an American alligator. It's not a bird, but it's a very cool species I just wanted to mention. Right here, these are black-necked stilts. They're very, very long pink legs are how they're identified usually. They're the only shorebird with long pink legs. And sorry if there's like purplish color on the white birds. It just happens sometimes with the optics I use. And right here, these are a flock of American white pelicans. That was off in the distance, so it's not a great photo, but these are American white pelicans. Then this was my target bird I got to see, the roseate spoonbill. It, it dips its beak in the water. It's very, is a flattened beak. It moves its head from side to side. It's a very, very cool bird to see. It was very, it was pretty small than smaller than what I thought it would be but it's a very interesting bird there's another that's when it feeds and then right here you can really see its spoon shaped bill there it has, actually has sensors on the end of its beak that it uses to sense the food it eats right here this is at the very right here you can see the yellow eye stripe again this is a um, palm warbler and this is my one of my favorite birds I saw there. This is the red eye, the white underside, the blue gray back, and the yellow and black beak. This is a tricolored heron. It's a very small heron. Right here, you can tell by the gray mottled back with the white belly, black beak, and the main identification clue is the yellow legs. This is a lesser yellow legs. And right here, you can tell by the um, spots and the white eye stripe on this head, this is a blue-winged teal. And with the iridescent purplish back, this is a boat-tailed grackle. This is a double-crested cormorant with a very large fish in its beak. This is a um, black vulture. There were so many of these guys hovering over. So many black vultures there. Right here, there's another black neck stilt. Right here, you can tell by the the stripe right there, the white underbelly and brown wings this is an osprey. Right here's another osprey that just made a catch. This is on a um, boat tour. It's a great boat tour to see birds. And there's the black vultures again. And there's another blue winged teal. Right there's the a better look at the lesser yellow legs. And this was a very interesting bird that I spotted at the very end. This is a wood stork. It's 
barely saw it, and it was a pond mixed in with egrets. You can identify by the bald black head and long beak. And right here is another great blue heron. And this is a limpkin. It has a very interesting call if you get to hear it. It's a very loud bird. It's another look at a limpkin. There. Same limp limpkin there. Preening. Oh, and then this is another interesting one. So at the we did the canopy walk, and at the very top of it, there was a raccoon in the treetops. It's kind of weird, but there was a raccoon in the treetops. Well, that's all the cool wildlife that I saw at Mayaka State Park. I highly recommend going there. It's a very interesting spot for all wildlife, especially birds. Thanks for watching.